Can you tell me something about your mentors? My mentor, my yeah. supervisor. So. Uh, the people who, when you were the, the age of the young researchers now, in your 20s, let's say. Mm -hmm. But I guess, uh, mm, I guess uh, my mentor will be, uh, I have several mentors actually. Uh, one of them is uh, Professor Masayoshi Nagata. Um, so uh, when I entered uh, Kyoto University, my second uh, year and on, uh, he was my advisor, yes. And uh, he doesn't uh, talk very much, and I don't either, so... Uh, he's the, the, the usual way to go is he suggests some problems, and uh, I work on, and uh, uh, when I did something, I, I show it to him. But uh, nevertheless, uh, he gave a very good problem, and uh, which sort of set my uh, few years goal, or maybe longer, uh, and suggested my direction uh, to do uh, my research. Yes. That's one case. And uh, another is uh, uh, Professor Sumihiro. Uh, so, uh, he worked more closely uh, to me, and so uh, my, f my first major result is uh, a solution of uh, uh, something called heart zone conjecture. And this is a, a problem for, uh, uh, for varieties with dimension 3 and higher, 3, 4, 5 and so on. And uh, um, so he was originally interested in this problem, but not me. <laughs> I was just, I had some interest, but uh, it was through him. And uh, uh, at a certain point, uh, we, he and me, received a preprint uh, of solving some slightly weaker conjecture. And when I was reading the, the manuscript, I realized that we can do something on Dimension 3, and I talked to him, Sumihiro, and we worked together and settled Dimension 3 case. Yeah, so uh, th that's how that's how got into it, and that's, uh, that's the, the case of uh, his mentorship. <laughs> it's very interesting to me that it was a problem that you weren't interested in to begin with. Well, I mean, it was his problem. Uh, I shouldn't interfere with it. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, once I got uh, really interested in, I mean, uh, he, he knew it and, uh, and we even worked together. Yeah, so, uh, and also, so if I keep talking about this, uh, so uh, we finished the Dimension 3 case, but uh, it was pretty clear that the method does not go up to Dimension 4 or higher. Yeah, so uh, it stopped, the project stopped there. And then the next year, uh, I, so I got my PhD and I moved, moved to Harvard University as a Benjamin Pierce assistant professor. It's a, just a kind of a postdoc position. Yeah. And then uh, uh, that was 1977. And 1978, in the summer, that was my uh, first summer uh, in, at Harvard. I realized that as soon as uh, the semester ends, there's nobody in the department. <laughs> then uh, I didn't have any uh, 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 you know, idea to, to, to go on or anything, so uh, I was just left alone in the department. And uh, now I got uh, curious about the problem which I sort of abandoned a year ago. And so I tried to solve it. And uh, since I knew uh, how difficult it is, I set up certain intermediate problems. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, so working on it, I thought I proved it. And uh, then I checked it further. I realized that there's a gap. Yeah. And uh, I examined further. Then I realized that uh, uh, something unexpected happened. Uh, that's that's why the, the proof failed. But uh, something unexpected was a very uh, useful uh, lemma, and I uh, 
so I sort of I dig out of m the lemma, and once I realized what it means, I could solve the original conjecture uh, in about a week. Yeah, so that's how it happened. <laughs> So that's interesting that, that that result came not from any mentorship since you were all alone. In that case, yeah, but uh, somehow for, for, uh, it just so happened that uh, he was uh, at Harvard <laughs> for about a couple of months. And uh, I showed it to him and uh, uh, then uh, 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 he checked it uh, very kindly. But possibly, my guess is that he, it, was, uh, it, it was a bit of disappointment that he couldn't solve it. But uh, still, he greeted me. Yeah. So now, of course, you uh, are a mentor to many people, including the people. Uh, not that many. Uh, so I'm not uh, teaching in uh, university. I'm at the research institute okay. in a university. So, I, uh, so we don't teach undergraduate. From time to time, I'm asked to do something, but uh, that, that's uh, a special arrangement. And uh, so, uh, but still we teach graduate students uh, in the form of, uh, in a, through uh, educational seminar. Yeah, so it's much uh, fewer, uh, fewer versus fewer, yeah. And that's how we, uh, in a sense, mentor students, but not that many. Well, here at HLF, I imagine there are people coming up to you and, and asking you questions about what they should do with their career and so on. Yeah, but that's... yeah, yes, I, they do. And uh, uh, so uh, when that happens, I listen to them. And because uh, it depends on the case. There's no sort of uh, one solution which fits all. So... Uh, it's really case-by-case case, uh, <laughs> uh, treatment. How many of these have you been to, the HLF? Uh, four. This is my fourth time. So uh, this, is, uh, this is the fifth uh, HLF. Yes. And the first year I did not come. And second year was uh, 2014, 2014. And uh, I, that time I knew I was going to be elected uh, president of IMU, and IMU is involved in this business. So I thought I should see how, it, how things are. And then from next year, I'm involved, <laughs> so I come here. I'm sorry, what year did you receive your award? Uh, I forget. Hmm? Award? Uh, 1990. Okay. Yeah, a long time ago. So you were invited from the beginning? Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, first year I, I, I was invited, but uh, I didn't know, I did not know what it, it is, so, uh, yeah. But you keep coming back now, so you must get something from it. Yeah, but, so this is, I think this is my, my uh, duty to be here as the president of IMU, since IMU uh, is backing up uh, this uh, HLP, uh, IMU is involved. Yes. Yeah. Actually, you're in an unusual position. Usually I'm talking to laureates just about themselves, but as the president of IMU, um, would you care to talk about how uh, the HLF interacts with the IMU and whether, uh, you know, how this might increase the exposure of the awards or vice versa, or anything you'd care to talk about in that? So, uh IMU awards uh, Fields Medal and Nevalina Prize and uh, some other as well. But uh, so HLF uh, invites uh, Fields Medalists and uh, Nevalina Prize winners. And uh, and they also invite Turing uh, Turing Prize and uh, now a new ACM uh, uh, prize. Yeah. So. I think uh, it's important that uh, mathematicians meet computer scientists. I mean, putting aside uh, young investigators. Yeah. Yeah, there are various aspects. And uh, also, uh, uh, for young uh, mathematicians, it's important to, to, know, uh, to get to know uh, computer scientists. Why? Well, uh, somehow, uh, computer science uh, 
uh, well, maybe this is just my prejudice, but uh, I've got the impression that some computer scientists uh, don't think that uh, they are uh, mathematical scientists or mathematicians. And some people do think that they are mathematicians. But uh, the important thing is that uh, we should get to know each other. Yeah. Because usually I, I don't meet them. This is a very rare occasion where I meet uh, computer scientists. Yeah. It's, after all, this is a person versus person. <laughs> right? So it's best to, to know them personally. One thing that I mostly know the computer science people since I worked for ACM for a while. Uh, and one thing that many of the laureates have said is, uh, well, the, ACE, the Turing Award winners are usually in their 70s or older. Even, and they say that, uh, well, when we started, we were mathematicians or electrical engineers. Mm -hmm. um, and that the two have really grown apart in a way. I guess I have no question to follow that up. <laughs> yeah, but that that uh, yeah that's the thing I am concerned about. So uh, we should get to know each other, yeah, and uh, new collaboration may may occur. That will be ideal. Yeah, because uh, uh, mathematics is needed everywhere to make things more sophisticated. Uh, uh, it should be mathematized in a sense. <laughs> I mean, it's happening everywhere, but. Uh, yeah. Is there anything else you'd care to add? Mm, of course, uh, uh, to, uh, for popularization, uh, HLF is really great. And uh, that's one of the reasons why I'm willing to uh, visit high school. So actually, this, this morning I visited one of the high schools. And last year I did. Yeah. So, uh, after all, uh, we should, uh, uh, well, I'm not good at advertisement, but uh, still uh, uh, we should let them know what uh, uh, the mathematicians are, what kind of people they are. They are not crazy people. <laughs> Maybe some. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, okay, I mean, that happens everywhere. Yeah, there are a few crazy computer scientists, and there are crazy uh, some some scientists in other disciplines everywhere. Yeah. Thank you very much for taking <laughs> the time. You.